thankful for that. Amen. You, uh, thank you, musicians. Man, I'm going to go ahead and preach. Man, I'm thankful that our cries have awoken the Master tonight. Amen. That we can cry, call upon Him and He hears our prayers. Amen. Well, I'm going to be reading out of Romans 8, verse number 28. Man, very co- uh, common quoted. Amen. Preach out of Scripture. Romans 8 and 28. It uh, says, Romans 8, verse number 28, And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God and to them who are called according to His purpose. If you would, just pray with me, Lord. I thank You for bringing us here, Lord. Lord, I ask You, Lord, to help me tonight, God. Oh, God, to deliver what You have given me to deliver tonight, Lord. Oh, speak as only You are able to do, Lord. We love You and we praise You. We give You glory and honor and praise for You are worthy. In Jesus' name, Amen. Man, you can be seated tonight. Amen. Uh, I'm going to preach to you tonight, amen, on God will turn it around tonight, amen, and uh, Romans, uh, 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 as they were singing this song, uh, this song, God uh, God will turn this thing, uh, turn it around, or however it says it, amen, Sunday morning after my dad preached, I just started thinking of Romans 8, 28 tonight, and that's what we're going to preach about tonight, we're going to go through Romans 8, 28 tonight, amen, but we, I do believe that God is able to fix the situation, and if we will just so, we will just in Him through this, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight. But we know it said, and we know, and we'll start. Amen. Of talking, of going through Romans eight, verse number twenty-eight. Here, don't have a lot of notes, but Amen. Just what I feel like I led to say tonight. It says, and we know, and we, and we know. Amen. Brother Joey preaches on this. I'm not going to preach Brother Joey's message. Preaches a wonderful message. Oh, and we know, Amen. He has a wonderful testimony with it. But we know that God is able. We know that His Word is true. We know that He is faithful. Romans 4 and 21 says, and being fully persuaded that uh, that, uh, that what He had promised, He was able also to perform. We know that God is able. Amen. And that He said, and we know. Amen. I didn't never recognize this here until Brother Joey, po- uh, Joey pointed it out. But we know that all things Work together for the good. Amen. So we know that He that what God is able to do. He's proven Himself time and time again what He is able to perform. He is able to do everything that this Word of God says. And not only is He able, but He is faithful to perform what His Word said He will perform. Everything that He promised, He is able and faithful to do what He said He would do. If we will just trust in Him tonight. Amen. God is able. Amen. And He is not only able, but I do believe willing and faithful. The Bible says that His promises are yea and His promises are amen. That means He will keep His Word. The Bible also said God is not a man that He should lie, nor the Son of Man that He should repent. God is faithful to His Word. Yes. Amen. So we know this. It says, and we know. Amen. We know that what He is going to do because His Word done said that He would do it. And we're going to trust what His Word says. I'm going to tell you, I know this. Amen. Through, uh, through all the struggle and struggles and trials that I go through, through seeing people leave the church, through seeing all these things happen, I'm going to tell you, I know what His Word says and I'm going to trust Him because I know that that He is able and He is faithful. I'm going to tell you, church, trust Him because He is God and He is able and faithful to do what He said He would do. Amen. 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 And then it goes on down to say all things. Amen. I do believe God is able and faithful to do all things. Amen. All, amen. But so He doesn't say some things or, or no things. It says all things. Amen. We must know this. That all things work together for the good. All things work together for the good. Not some things work together for the good. Just because it's not happening just the way we think it's supposed to happen. Just because it's not happening just in the time that we think it should happen. I do believe what the Word says that all 
things work together for the good. And I'm going to tell you, all things work together for the good. Amen. 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 And we trust God and believe God. Amen. That He, that all things work together for the good. If we'll just trust Him on this. Amen. We are now in a, in, a, in a bad situation. It's hard to see this. It's hard to look at it this way. That all things work together for the good. That the struggle that our church is going through, the enemy tries to bring things to me all the time. But I must stand on God's Word that all all things work together for the good. It may seem like defeat, but we still can remain victorious because all things work together for the good. Amen. That's what, how we can remain joyful in every in everything that we're going through. That's how we can live in perfect peace in everything that we go through because we know that all things work together for the good. God's going to get the glory out of this. Amen. So we must trust that He is going to get the glory to them who are called according to His purpose. I'm going to tell you, all things work for them that love Him and are called according to His purpose. To them that love God and to them who are called according to His purpose can spit it out. But amen. We do know and we can trust in this. If we just try to keep and we stay in love with Jesus. Amen. And we stay doing what He has told us to do. We're faithful unto Him. He will be faithful unto us. I'm going to tell you, we know that God is faithful as long as we'll stay faithful unto Him. He's going to stay faithful unto His Word and do what He told us that He would do. We must just stay in love with Jesus. Amen. You know, the temptation is is to throw in the towel, to give up, and not, and not keep going because everything is not going our way. I'm going to tell you that the devil's come told me many a times. You just should just quit pastoring that church over the over this uh, over this two uh, two and a half years almost. Amen. The devil's come to me many times and told me that, but I'm going to tell you. I believe the Bible. I'm going to love Jesus. I'm going to be faithful because I know all things work together for the good. Amen. Amen. I know that His Word is true. Amen. Just well, in a time of crisis, it seems like, Amen, well, that's the easy thing to do. It's not the easy thing to do. The way of the transgressor is hard. It's, it's not the easy thing to do. The, the best thing to do is trust Him. Amen. And stay faithful unto Him. Amen. And stay in love with Jesus. If we'll keep our love for Jesus, I do believe He's going to keep that love and that promise unto us. We just must trust Him. That's the next thing. We must keep, I've talked to you and said a little bit about it, but we must keep a trust in God. We must keep faith in Jesus. Amen. That that these Scriptures are true. That this Word is true. That all things work together for the good to them that who uh, to them that love him and to them that are called according to his purpose. You say God called me to preach. God called me to do something. It doesn't look like anything's coming about. I'm going to tell you, stay faithful unto him and good things will come. Yes, amen. I'm not saying amen now the charismatic will preach that God's going to make you a millionaire if you'll do these things. Amen. This is a good thing that's going to happen. No. God is going to do be what brings glory unto Jesus. Amen. If we'll stay faithful unto Him, we will bring glory unto Him and fulfill His Word. And we will fulfill that calling unto God. Amen. We, I do believe Pentecostal Lighthouse has remained faithful unto God. But I'm going to tell you that temptation is going to come to each and every one of you like it's come to people that's left this church. It's going to be an easy thing to leave. But I'm going to tell you, we must stay faithful because God is faithful. Amen. Amen. We must trust Him. 
Amen. Trusting through the trial. Amen. I do believe Pentecostal Lighthouse, my dad said, is going through one of the worst trials is went through in many, many years. Amen. But I don't care what the devil brings at us. We must trust God and know that He is able to carry us through it. Amen. Tomorrow there may, uh, Sunday, there may be a hundred people on this pews. Amen. And two weeks later, there may be 15 people back on the pews. But we must trust Him that He is able. Amen. Just trust God. Amen. It's a simple message. Amen. But we must trust God that He is able. That all things work together for the good. Amen. What good can come out of this? You, I've heard people say that over and over and over. What good can come out of this? I'm going to tell you, the last thing is, your situation can turn into a testimony. I'm going to tell you, it can be a testimony of the power of God. Amen. And when they went out there, the children of Israel come to the Red Sea. They probably said, what good thing can come out of this? But I want to tell you, as Moses stretches right over the sea, and the sea split, I want to tell you, it become a testimony of the power of God. Amen. Amen to this struggle of our church. Amen. People looking at our church say, that church is going to give up. That church ain't going to make it. Amen. They out there on the streets telling people to repent, but they're not going to make it themselves. And we just keep fighting. We stay faithful unto God. We keep our trust in Jesus. I believe that He, and I would believe that it's going to work together for the good. And it's going to become a testimony of the power of God. What God can carry us through. Amen. We must keep our trust in Jesus tonight. Amen. Just a simple message to encourage you to stand upon the Word of God, to stay faithful and stay in love with Jesus by trusting Him and trusting His Word. Amen. It is true every time. Amen. I know it ain't long tonight. Amen. It's just, amen. I felt the Holy Spirit moving in here already. I do believe God done a lot in the service already. But I just felt like that God wanted me to encourage you to just keep your trust Trust in Him. Amen. Keep your uh, Pentecostal lighthouse. Let's keep fighting. Amen. It's going to be a fight. Amen. I would love to tell you it's going to get easier. Amen. Nothing else is going to happen, but I can't tell you that. Amen. We It may even get harder tomorrow, but we must trust Him through this trial. Amen. If we'll trust Him and know that all things work together for the good of them that that love Him and are called according to His purpose. Amen. Distrust Him that He is able. Amen. And we may say our ministry's not going anywhere. Amen. The devil's told me that many times before. Amen. Your ministry's not going nowhere. He still tells me that. Amen. You're not making an impact on anybody's life. But I'm going to trust Him. Amen. And know that He is able. Amen. And He is able to work it out for the good. Amen. Let's stand to our feet.